Yo, hey everybody. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to go over this uh, SRAM GX Axis Upgrade Kit. So these things are about you know, 600 bucks is what they retail for. We've been doing, got a big handful of these up at the shop. And we've been putting them on various bikes. But in this case, this is a uh, X01 just mechanical cable actuated shifter system. On a, it's a Yeti SB115 new bike. Uh, so it's, you know, got your cable, full length housing, runs all the way through the frame there. So basically just going to do a quick run through on what it's involved in swapping this over. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, basically I'm just going to remove the chain here and um, basically just dis disassemble the. Uh, cable I mean this is probably most of the work is actually just removing all the old uh, cable and unbolting the derailleur and the shifter and then you know, putting the other stuff back on but um, yeah anyway so yeah it's 600 bucks so the, the technology of kind of the trickle down on um, you know from the more expensive you know I guess before it was just the XX1 and the X01 and uh, you know, that there was a red and a force as far as road or grapple group or whatever, so, um, yeah, anyway, basically just pulling the, uh, this full length of cable out of the bike here. Some bikes are, you know, there may be split pieces or some maybe not come out quite as easy. These are, these Yetis, they have a tube that runs inside of the frame, so it's pretty easy on these to route the cable some frames not so important so if you're you know the that's kind of the beauty of this the wireless axis stuff is you just bolt it on and you sync up the shifter and derailleur and you're good to go you don't have to worry about routing cables or cable degre degradation over time so anyway this is what this little kit comes with and this is the with the assumption that you've already got an eagle 12 speed group or whatever so basically you got some directions and whatnot there sorry for this shaky you know I'm trying to open the box and fill them all at the same time with my phone so uh, you got the derailleur it looks like one thing that's new from that with is a little different from all the other ones is it's got that little a little guard there that goes on the little cover protector protects that battery I guess I don't know how well or effective that is but Sure, it helps some. Uh, so anyway, you get the derailleur. It's got a little more steel and aluminum pieces as opposed to carbon and aluminum. So it's a little heavier, but I think durability-wise it should be pretty solid. Shifter seems very similar. Um, you know, the little charger and battery and charging cable, all that's virtually identical to even the top-of-the-line stuff. So um, but you get a little clamp if you don't have a... SRAM, if you're running a Shimano brake lever or something, you get a little tool and the little chain guy or the uh, B-knuckle setting tool there. And then you get your little cable, uh, you plug into the your computer or whatever and charge it up. Doesn't take too long to charge these. Uh, but basically it's just a, you know, this one we had a, a SRAM brake levers as well, so it just... You know, if that's your case, it just bolts right up to where the other shifter was, essentially. Uh, so yeah, just unbolting the old one, bolt up the new one, and you're good to go. I made another video a while back where I switched out. There's a couple different uh, little paddles, the little toggle paddle. Um, they SRAM offers another one, a little rocker paddle that I don't know, it's a little closer to what the actual shifter um, the mechanical shifter feels like so anyway yeah, I'm charging up my battery uh, orange light I guess when it starts and it'll turn green when it's charged but like I say it doesn't take long I usually like to unwind the thing and push the little button in to hold the derailleur out when I'm installing these it just makes it a little easier to get the wrench in there and bolt it on but pretty about as simple as it gets to just bolt this thing on and uh, 
put your chain in chain on took it taking a little cover off that's what it looks like there so it just kind of pops on and off there I don't know I see that thing getting knocking it off if it gets smacked into it I don't know it seems like it would be I'm sure they've it's been tested I don't know this was the first time I'd ever seen it so uh, yeah anyway just routing my chain up here and uh, you know this is just the assumption everything you've got is in decent condition this you know in this case everything was new but you want to make sure your chains not bagged out and worn out and stuff before you you know might be a good time to get a new chain if need be but uh, you know putting the chain on you always want to make sure you go over that little nub I initially just started putting it down on the pulley so you can kind of test your you know you can unlock it and test your work there just to make sure make sure everything's routed right but you want to go over that little nub on the on the cage so it's good you know your chains just contacting the pulleys it's not contacting anything else the little quick link you always want to make sure the little curved portion is facing to the outside of the drivetrain which it seems pretty easy to get that right and logical but I've definitely seen seen a couple guys put those on backwards and it'll skip if you put it on the quick link on backwards where the curve is facing inwards towards the other side of the chain or whatever uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is uh, a little section from another video. Um, this is a XL1 derailleur, but I didn't have a chance to show how to sync these up or put the batteries in or whatever, but it's exactly the same on every axis uh, thing. So you get that little tab, you just lock it down, you know, or stick it down in the bottom and then flip the little cover or the little uh, lock lever thing down. You can see I'm working the shifter here on this one, but it's nothing's happening because they're not synced up yet. So there's two little buttons, a little button on the derailleur right there, and then the other on the shifter. So if you just hold, uh, I kind of didn't do it exactly right here. I held both buttons in simultaneously, and it still worked. But what you want to do is hold the button in on the derailleur till it starts blinking like that, then hold the button on the shifter. You'll get a rapid blink, and then they're synced up. So it's super, super easy on these to sync them up. Um, you know, super easy to fine tune it. You just hold the button in on the shifter and toggle the paddle back and forth until you get the pulley directly under whichever gear that you want. Um, and, you know, it's going to work. Unless something's bent up, it's going to work in all the other gears from there. Um, you got your little high low limit screws which once you get it all dialed in and shifting you'll just want to get those to where they just touch on you know you're in the small cog get it to where it just touches the little paddle big cog get it where it just touches the little stop there so anyway yeah that's it these are pretty sweet little system 600 bucks it's a pretty good deal I don't know figure we'll sell a bunch of these but yep thanks for watching subscribe see you guys next time